uh, the representative of the Brazilian Minister of Agriculture and Livestock Supply, uh, the Vice Minister of Agriculture of Brazil, uh, and uh, His Excellency, the Brazilian Ambassador to Nigeria, Ambassador Ricardo Guerra de Araujo. Uh, distinguished uh, participants, ladies and uh, gentlemen, it's my pleasure to welcome you to this Citizens' Dialogue on the Green Imperative Project. As you've heard already, this is a bilateral initiative that was embarked upon at the commencement of the first tenure of the Buhari administration in June 2016 with the Federative Republic of Brazil. This is in fact the second large uh, stakeholder engagement that we're having on this very important project. Just to be sure that the general public fully understands and that private sector businesses are able to benefit from this very important project. The first engagement with the private sector was in, June, was in January 2019, shortly after the project was officially, was officially launched as one of the uh, flagship projects of uh, Mr. President towards achieving food security, economic diversification, and job creation. Subsequently, the project was approved by the Federal Executive Council in May uh, 2020. Today's engagement with a wide uh, selection of entrepreneurs, corporate entities, farmer groups, uh, local financial service organizations, and several uh, individuals who are interested in, in, in uh, the various projects on agriculture is even more, is even more important for us as uh, this is one which precedes uh, the National Assembly's consideration of a grant of an approval for this project. The Green Imperative Project, uh, or GIP as is uh, in the short form, is, as you've also heard, a 995, Euro, 995 million euro in-kind equipment loan between the Brazilian government and the Nigerian government. It's a loan to support private sector implementing partners of the project and it is an in-kind loan, it is not a loan in cash. The idea is to create market-oriented private sector-driven mechanization and agro-processing yeah. service centers in the local governments across Nigeria. So the service centers will comprise of 632 type one service centers, and this will offer primary production mechanization services to farmers. And then there's a 142 type two service centers that will provide processing and value addition of farm produce resulting from the type one service center activities. So the type one, uh, the type two centers feed into uh, the, the type one service centers. The benefits of the project will include farm mechanization, extension services, providing best uh, practice in farming methods, improved inputs, seeds, fertilizers, and pesticides, crop processing facilities, distribution systems, haulage and transport services, logistics and storage services, technical assistance and support services, and then of course information and communicative technology, and of course access to finance. Just as you've heard also, where we expect that at least five million jobs will be created in the 10-year period with a total output per hectare of land increasing by almost four times uh, the current output per hectare. The project is funded through the Brazilian Development Bank and the uh, Deutsche Bank, and it's insured by the Islamic Development Bank. I see that the technical session that follows shortly is planned to provide citizens with as much information and details on the project as, as is possible. And I'd like to thank all our partners who will be discussing the implementation details of the project. And I'd like to also encourage you all to make the very best of this opportunity to have your questions and concerns addressed. So it's now my very special pleasure and privilege uh, to declare this webinar open. Thank you very much.